My name is Brian Scarry. I'm a wildlife photographer working in the ocean. For the last 20 years, I've been working as a contract photographer for National Geographic magazine, producing stories about wildlife and ocean ecosystems. You know, I started diving about 40 years ago. In the early days, I just wanted to explore and to see cool things. But there's really been an evolution in my work over the years in the sense that I began to see a lot of problems occurring. You know, I can remember those early dives off the beaches in New England and seeing big schools of baby fish. And then when I began traveling, the places I went to had beautiful corals and lots of fish on the reefs. And fast forward decades later now, I go to those same places and they're a shadow of what they used to be. I don't see those massive schools of bait fish. Coral reefs are largely dead in the places I used to go. They're all bleached and overfished and they don't even look like a coral reef anymore. I couldn't have imagined when I started that there would be that drastic a change. It wasn't even on my radar that we would see essentially geologic change in a human lifetime, in much less than a human lifetime really. My work as a photographer has evolved to telling those stories as well. As a photojournalist, I think it's important to, to shine a light on the problems and then to look for solutions. I think we live at a moment in time where maybe for the very first time we actually have both an understanding of the problems and the solutions and we just need a collective will to, to move ahead and solve them. As somebody who's dedicated most of my own life to the ocean, the first thing I would tell any government officials, any legislators or policy makers is that we need to protect more of the ocean as simply an investment for the future. Scientists tell us that we should be protecting somewhere in the neighborhood of 40% of the ocean as marine reserves, as really no-take marine reserves, so that we will have a healthy future going forward. Today, at best, we're at 3%. So we have a long way to go. So the first thing we need to do is create more marine protected areas. We need to have more investment banks for the ocean. You know, the notion of continuing to take everything from everywhere is counterproductive. I mean, this would be like a, a farmer eating his seed corn, right? I mean, you just wouldn't do that. But yet, that's what we do in the ocean. No matter where you live on this planet, the ocean is directly tied to your life. Every other breath that we take comes from the ocean. Not long ago, I read a, a quote by John Muir, the, the great American naturalist, who once said, if, if we tug on a thread in nature, we find it connected to everything. This planet is like a finely tuned Swiss watch. And every gear is turning at a different speed, but they're all connected. And as we begin to remove those parts, it all begins to break down. That's what these anthropogenic stresses have done. Nature knows how to do things beautifully, and it'll be fine if we leave it alone. But we need to give it that chance. We need to leave it alone. And I think as a society, as a species, if we can no longer see ourselves apart from nature or above it, but see ourselves part of it, then I think that that changes everything. Because then what we do matters. 